Hi everyone, welcome to the second video in this four part series on MQTT's PowerPlug. In the previous introductory video, we covered some basic concepts on IoT Sitewise, MQTT's PowerPlug and ended with a demo architecture. In this video, we'll start with a demo walkthrough. In this walkthrough, we'll start building these architecture blocks and then see the end-to-end -end data flow from a Sparkplug device all the way to AWS IoT Sitewise. So first, we need to create IoT things to represent entities like Edge of Network Node, Industrial Gateway, and the IoT Bridge for Sitewise. Now let us switch to AWS console and create these three IoT things. Now we are in the console. I look for IoT core and then start creating the things one by one. So under manage all devices, I'll go to things and click on create things. I'll go next and then use a thing name to represent the thing. In this case, that's our edge of network node. I'll call it sparkplug underscore edge of network and then I'll leave the default settings and go next. And here we need to create a certificate to connect to our MQTT broker. So I will auto generate the certificates here. And then now we need a policy to define access to the edge of network node. In this case, I'll be creating a overly permissive policy. So I'll allow all actions on all resources, but in real world scenario, it is highly recommended that you narrow down the permissions to specific actions and resources. Now we'll give a name to this policy. I'll call it Sparkplug Edge of Network Policy, and then we'll create it. So once we create the policy, I'll close this tab and I'll go back and select the policy. And finally, I'll create the thing. So the last step in creating thing is downloading the certificates and keys. So we need to download four files, starting with device certificate, the public and private key files, and the root CA. In this case, we'll download root CA1. So I'll pause here for a moment and download all these files. So I've downloaded all the four files. Now I'll just rename some of these to make it more readable. So I'll change the prefix to the thing name which is sparkplug underscore uh, EON. Okay, so we are done creating the thing for our edge of network. Now we'll just repeat the same process and create another thing for our IoT bridge for Sitewise. So we'll go back to the console. From the console, under manage things, I'll create a new thing for IoT Bridge for Sitewise. So I'll click on Next and I'll call it IoT Bridge Sitewise and go Next. And then I'll auto generate the certificate. And now we need a policy. I'll just create one. And I'll call it IoT Bridge Sitewise Policy. And here I'll allow all the action and resources for the demo purpose. And then I'll create it. I'll close the policy and then I'll go back, select the policy I just created and then create the thing. So the last step is downloading the certificates and keys. So I'll download three files, device certificate, private and public keys. I'll pause it for a moment and come back. So I downloaded the three files. Now I'll just rename them to make it more readable. And with that, we are done creating the thing for IoT Bridge. So just to summarize, we created two IoT things to represent the edge of network node and IoT Bridge for Sitewise. What's pending is Industrial Gateway. On this gateway device, we'll install Greengrass Core software. This software creates an IoT thing for the gateway and also installs an edge runtime that can run components like local EMQX broker. 
and note that in our example we are going to use an ec2 instance to represent the gateway device but in real world scenario this could be an industrial pc for example now let's go to aws console and install this greengrass core software on the gateway device from the console we'll go to manage greengrass devices and set up a new core device we'll call it industrial gateway and then we'll install the core software on our AWS Cloud9 based EC2 instance. I have already created a new Cloud9 instance for this video. So I'll just look for that instance. And then launch the IDE environment. From the Cloud9 instance, I'll open a new terminal. And the first step is to set up your credentials. So I have them prepared already. So I'll just copy them. And the next step is to download the installer. We'll go back to the Greengrass console and then copy the command to download. Now we are done downloading the core software. We'll go back to the console again and copy the command to run the installer. As you can see, the installer is doing a few things, including creating a new IoT thing for the gateway device. Now the installation is done. We'll go back to the console and verify the device we just created. So I'll click on view core devices. You can see the core device we just created. It's in healthy state. And then I can also click on it and look into the corresponding thing that's been created with the certificate. One thing to note here is you need to configure a service role for Greengrass, which I've already done. I'll go to settings and scroll all the way down and you'll see the service role configured. And you can follow the instructions here to create the role and the policies needed. So with this, we have all the IoT things created and Greengrass runtime installed, the next step is to prepare all the components that we need on Greengrass. So we'll go back to console and install these components. From the console, we'll use a Greengrass deployment to install the components needed to support local MQTT communication. So we'll select the deployment and revise it to include the new components. We'll go next and then look for client devices and we'll include three components the mqtt bridge the broker and the auth component and next we'll configure these components starting with bridge i have the configuration handy so i'll just copy it here as you can see the MQTT bridge component is going to relay all the messages on these topics from the source, which is the local MQTT broker to the target, which is AWS IoT core. And next we'll configure the auth component. So here we are asking the auth component to only allow Sparkplug edge of network node to connect to the local MQTT broker. You can also add fine grain permissions under the policy section, but for the demo purpose, we are just going to leave it here. So we'll confirm it and deploy these changes to the industrial gateway device. It may take a few minutes so we'll give it some time and check. Now the deployment is succeeded. We'll go to the industrial gateway and check if everything looks good. From the Cloud9 instance, we'll run a command to see if the newly added components are up and running.
Here we can see all the three new components running well without issues. Starting with the auth component, the MQTT broker and the MQTT bridge. And with this, we are done configuring the industrial gateway. And our gateway is ready to accept spark plug messages from the edge of network node and forward them to AWS IoT core. And that's all for this video. Let's summarize. In this video, we created IoT things for Sparkplug Edge of Network Node, Industrial Gateway, and IoT Bridge for SiteWise. And then, using Greengrass Core software, we prepared our Industrial Gateway to receive Sparkplug messages from the Edge of Network Node. In the next video, we'll set up a Sparkplug Edge of Network Node environment using Ignition software and test communication with AWS IoT Core. Thank you for watching.